this would further cement his kiddom. He is the kid. Mike the kid. Let's go. Ooh. Mike's gotta be careful though. I don't know if Brosnex knows the DDD matchup. However, these conversions are gonna be super strong. And I'm wondering how he's gonna deal with Mike's planking. Because Mike can just sit on the, under this ledge, like I was saying earlier. He can't be touched because he hangs so low. Goes for the footstool again. Just back air. Alright. Bread and butters. Catches Brosnex on the roll with that F smash. And the reverse F smash, actually. But it didn't hit. And the thing is, he keeps trading with Ryu. Ryu's gonna win out on these trades all the time. Going for the up tilt at the ledge. Trying to catch him. There we go. Not gonna kill just yet. A little too heavy. Not enough percent or rage. Wow, that was slick how that Cordo hit the... Ooh, empty hopping. Just trying to make him think he was going to back air his shield, but actually just turned around and up tilted him. Good stuff by Brosnex. Trying to focus. Focus down. Good shield cross-ups. Oh, tried to go for the another cross-up with that fair. Mike hitting the ledge with that Gordo. Brosnex just going to go high. Still falling into Mike's trap. Exactly what he wanted. Good pivot grab. And the Gordo... Wow, I feel like, okay, I guess neutral getup is just the way to beat DDD's trap. Rosenex keeps trying to catch him in the, the neutral air strings, but DDD's, I feel like his weight and fall speed kind of messed that up. Okay, I don't know what that was, but finally catches him in that Gordo trap. Down smash. Oh! Hello! Used the Gordo, forced him into an air duck, and came down on him with the forward air to end his stock. Mike is a genius. This boy Dexter out here. Uh oh, got caught in it. It's gonna be a downer. Good SDI down and away. The air dodge as well. Not enough. No rage as well. It's caught by the Gordo, and that's gonna be a free recovery. For Mike. And he reads the empty hop this time. I like how he went for the footstool once again. Gotta go for it. Optimal stuff. Okay. Mike, it, what's amazing about Mike, he's so comfortable being at high percent. He really doesn't get flustered all that much. And I think he actually SDI'd up. Or not, DI'd like up or towards Bosnex. You gotta DI that stuff towards the corner. So he can live longer. Strong up tilt. And there we go again. Up tilt into strong up tilt. Game one for Bros next over Mike. Let's go, Mike. This is so hard to watch. I love Mike, but I also <laughs> I love Brosinex. Oh my god! Okay, good DI way. I feel like DDD's weight really, or not his weight, but his fall speed helps him out a lot in getting out of reuse combos. It's gonna be really good for him. Yeah, he keeps popping up out of it. So it's gonna be really useful to help him live longer. Okay. Man, I need to take some notes from Mike. This man. That's the traps on Hawk. Alright. Nice! A Doken from Rosenex. Instead of trying to approach him with a, a jointed hitbox. And there we go. Up tilt in the up B. Not enough still. But still following him with the up airs. I love this planking. Attack the ledge there. Has no jump. Or actually, has a million jumps. I forgot. This is a best of five set. Okay. Very even, and as I say that, gets the stock. So now in Mike's favor. Ooh! Okay. 
goes for the suck. Is he gonna try to suicide? No, he just wants him off stage. He knows that he can mash out at early percents. Double back air, more damage, and then the Gordo toss, but gets beat by the sh by the Tatsu. And another Tatsu just gonna get grabbed out of that. And this is where Mike shines when he has the lead, has all that rage, and just keep those hits really stack up and they do a lot of damage and it's really scary to be hit by such a big character such a strong character especially when they have the lead but Brosnick's still able to come back get oh my Mike all right guys I'm calling it Mike Mike's on our next PR it's over oh my God, this I love this kid I wish he would come out one okay catches him in the up air traps Ooh, almost got hit by the back air. Both of them go for back air at the same time. Nair. Oh, focus. Just a bait. But then still getting hit by the Gordo. Almost taking a stock as well. And then another back air. Catching Brosnix on his approach. Two. Or no, no, no. One, one. <laughs> I need to relax. But good lord. Mike, the kid. This kid. This kid. This kid. Okay. So we have Brosnix counter pick to bat our light light. We're just gonna use the low platforms to come down like that with the fair and start combos like that. And mix up his verticality. Good chase by Brosnix, but Mike's still breaking through with the F-Tilt. Every time Brosnix get that strong conversion, Mike comes right back with his own counterattack. Puts on just as much damage on Brosnix. And when, you know, but Ryu still wins the trades. That's the thing. But, you know, it's starting to look less and less convincing because, you know, Mike has been living all these up-tilts to show you. Perfect shielding, three up-tilts in a row. Can you relax? Where did he come? Where does Mike come from? <laughs> this kid's amazing. Good escape. He almost jumped right into that F smash. And he chased him. He knew he was going to run back. But he didn't know he was going to shield. Perfect shield at bat. That sure you. Okay. Mike's ledge coverage is insane. He doesn't just go for the regular DDD ledge trap. He'll like pick actually the right option and then kill you. Great at, uh, forward air at the ledge. Not able to tech it because Lilat should be in a legal stage. There we go. Just <laughs> dash attacking away. Alright. Oh, great shield cross up with that back air on the shield. Focus through. A lot of shield damage on Mike. So now Brosnix has the lead and he's making it work for him very well. Adding up this percent. Mike is looking to die from another 20. Oh my god. That fair almost doing like more than 10% enough. Almost to kill Mike. Like I said, like I said. About another 20%. Okay. Now this is the percent. He's going to die from Shoryu. And there we go. Nope. I'm a liar. Don't ever listen to me. Brosnix is actually going to die from that Gordo. And Mike now has Rage. And that Shoryu probably won't kill for another 20-30%. So Brosnix is going to have to find another way to end Mike's stock. But Mike has the opportunity to really put on a lot of mental damage. And keep Brosnix in disadvantage. Racking up this percent. Being able to kill so potently. Genius. No! It's best of five. Yep. Alright, Mike, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Mike. Yeah. Alright. Pro Snake's going for his ban. This is crazy. Why can't you guys be like Mike? Why can't you be like Mike? Pretty sure he's younger than you. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Game four. Mike the kid versus Brosnix. Alright. And then the, I think okay, this is Mike's counter pick. It's battlefield. I don't know how he's gonna try to use it to his advantage, but here we go. Getting Brosnex off stage where he's most powerful. Those DDD traps being really, 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 really darn good. Okay. I actually don't know how, my, how old Mike is. I'll find out for you guys. 
after this set. But this kid, he's putting in work out here. Against some of our best. This will be his first PR win, I believe, if he takes out Brosnex here. Brosnex is looking to make that... He's looking to make that a pipe dream. Okay, good. Gordo toss. Oh, almost caught him in the F tilt. Brosnex just content to just down tilt his shield. Knows it's safe. Keep going for it. Great chase as well on that platform with the up tilt. There we go. See how he's falling down using the platforms to mix up his approaches. Ooh. Yep, Mike's just going to flank here. Has the Gordo to protect him. Yep. Oh, and he actually shielded the Nair. Good job. I like how Mike just ca Oh, hello, and goodbye to Brosnex's first stock. That Gordo is the MVP right now. <laughs> okay, good neutral B. Another. Okay, 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 okay. Relax, 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 relax. Mike trying to end it all right there. I don't think that wouldn't even kill. I don't know how strong DDD Spike is. But if a spike kills you at, at 10%, I'll probably quit the game. Good trades. Sure, you still won't kill, especially with no rage on Brosnex. The back air might do it. Living. Gordo toss. Brosnex not expecting it, and actually getting hit by it, but then. About to get back with the Hadouken. Mm hmm. Staying safe. Oh, and actually going above the ledge, seeing that Brosnex was trying to catch him on his lack of invisibility, and then a back air from Brosnex sealing it out. 3 1. I know that was a 3-1, but that was still terrifying. That was terrifying. Mike is so scary. 